So after we posted our review of Trader Joe's Perry Perry sauce, it was brought to my attention by numerous people that Perry Perry is the type of spice used in the Perry Perry chicken at a restaurant chain called Nando's, which at the time I had never heard of. Uh, the only locations that Nando's has in the United States are in the DC area and Chicago area. So they're not very widespread here, but shortly after reviewing this sauce, I noticed uh, Ted Lasso mentioned Nando's. And I believe Nando's is now an official sponsor of the final season of that show because they do have quite a few locations in the UK, as far as I understand. Um, but anyway, here's some excerpts from the review that we posted in 2021. This product is still available at Trader Joe's, by the way. What it is. It's a thin orange liquid. It's thinner than most condiments. Definitely thinner than ketchup, cocktail sauce, or sriracha. It's spicy. There's a taste of hot chilies. It has some kick for sure. Higher than a 5 or 6 out of 10 on my spiceometer. Mouth and throat tingling from the first bite. Absolutely spicy. What it's not. It's not sweet at all. It's not a desserty thing. There's absolutely no sugar or sweeteners of any kind in the bottle. It's not like curry in any way. It's not coconutty nor milky, nor by that same measure is it bitter. Although it almost has the same effect on the palate that bitter tastes do, if that makes any sense at all. It's a little harsh in a way that makes me want to wince in the same manner I do with bitter foods. I did a little internet search, and I guess it's a traditional African sauce. This variety contains no tomato or vinegar, which from what I'm reading might not be the norm for this condiment. I can confirm it goes well with fish and chicken. I had it with crab cakes, tried it on french fries, it's okay with those. It obviously provides some heat to whatever you add it to. I'm struggling to think of other applications for this stuff. Once again, I'm grateful to have tried an international product for a reasonable price, thanks to Trader Joe's. It was $3.29 for 6.76 fluid ounces back in 2021. Price may have changed. I have no idea how to score it fairly. Um, but if you've tried it, feel free to uh, leave some comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, particularly if you're familiar with other versions of Peri Peri sauce. And it actually is a product of South Africa. Sonia and I gave this a total of seven and a half out of 10 stars. Not bad. It's definitely a good pickup if you like spicy things, spicy condiments.